U.S. Army Lieutenant General Ronald L. Burgess has served our country at the uppermost levels of military intelligence. Appointed in 2008 by President George W. Bush as the Director of the Defense Intelligence Agency. In this position, he commanded Joint Functional Component Command Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance. A 1974 Auburn graduate, General Burgess is a highly decorated military officer, having earned a Defense Distinguished Service Medal, the Legion of Merit, Joint Service Commendation Medal, and U.S. Special Operations Command Medal. General Burgess is a life member of the Auburn Alumni Association. Lieutenant General Ron Burgess grew up in Opelika and graduated from Auburn in 1974 as part of the ROTC program. In 2008, President George W. Bush appointed Burgess the Director of the Defense Intelligence Agency, an assignment that was confirmed by the United States Senate. Obviously, his successes in his military career are phenomenal. Uh, he had an ROTC scholarship at Auburn, and uh, his short-term plan was to spend four or five years to pay back his scholarship and then he was going to return to Alabama and be a football coach. Unfortunately, he never uh, recognized that. He wanted to be a high school football coach and uh, it's too bad my good friend never recognized that goal. Um, but obviously his career in the military was superlative. Uh, I had the opportunity to go to his retirement ceremony as a three-star general. He was the number one intelligence officer in the Army at that point. And it was obvious from seeing all the accolades that he received during his retirement ceremony that uh, he had uh, really been extremely successful. He was extremely respected and well-liked uh, in, in that career. And uh, I'm glad he's back in Auburn. Look forward to seeing this next phase of his career. When I think of Ron Burgess, it's part of the, one of the things you learn in a military service. At a very young age, you're put in a position where you must step up and make decisions as a leader. And so I, one of the things I think will be the most uh, striking contribution of Ron in returning to Auburn is his understanding of the world's landscape, understanding of world developments and trends, and providing leadership and a voice of leadership to help uh, Auburn adjust to the future. Uh, the only thing constant is change. Ron Burgess understands that. Um, he will provide a strong voice in leadership and understanding change, adapting to change as uh, Auburn adjusts for the future. I have not ever had any personal experience in the intelligence community, but I do know that I've heard Ron described by those who do as brilliant at what he does and I know that he does it first of all because it's the right thing to do and then he does it because he wants to keep his family and our families safe and free and he does it with a great deal of commitment. Burgess is a man of very high character that's recognized by friends and colleagues alike. He is probably the most honest person that I know uh, and the most trustworthy person that I know. Uh, and that has uh, demonstrated itself in his career without question. He is a um, dedicated family man. He has um, a wife, of course, and then five lovely children with whom my children have enjoyed long-standing relationships. And I wish so much that Ben was here, first of all, to do this interview. He would have done it much better. And secondly, to tell you himself how proud he is to have had this long-term association with you and to um, I wish he was here. I know he would love to be here tonight to congratulate you himself as you receive this Lifetime Achievement Award from Auburn University. Often in the military, we're asked about uh, 
the character of an individual, uh, what makes them different, what makes them special. And when I think of Ron Burgess, um, the first hallmark of his character is uh, the man is above reproach. His, his faith, his commitment, his dedication is amazing to me. And you always knew, no matter how difficult, no matter how challenging, you could depend on Ron Burgess to answer the bell, to be there. While Burgess's job took him all over the world, his heart always remained close to Auburn. One of the things that I remember Marta telling me that he did is when they were stationed in Hawaii, she told me that somehow Ron and another um, fellow Army officer got together early, early, early one um, Saturday morning in the fall because of the time difference between Alabama and Hawaii. And somehow or another, and this has been back in the 90s and I have no idea how they did it, but they patched into a radio station with their telephone long distance and listened to the ball game on the speaker phone. I believe that's how it went. But anyway, ultimately they split that phone bill, the two of them. And um, I don't know if they did it every Saturday or not, but that I think tells you <laughs> his dedication to um, Auburn and um, that he would have gone to quite any length to listen to a ball game. He was very proud of the fact that he attended Auburn and I think he grew up in Alabama. And to Ron, Alabama and Auburn were home and he always talked about as we all do in the service, at some point you're gonna complete your service and move on. And he would go home to Alabama and home to Auburn. So I, I always expected and hoped for, for Ron and his family, for Marta and the family, that uh, there may be something there for him where he could give back to Auburn because he certainly held, held Auburn in very high esteem. He was a very avid, very avid football fan, Ron. <laughs> Uh, carries Auburn football with him wherever he goes. First of all, I want to say thank you for your years of dedicated support. Uh, but most of all, I want to say congratulations to you and to Marta and your family for Auburn University recognizing you for this Lifetime Achievement Award. It is truly uh, deserved, and I don't mean to say that just because of the time we served together. It was fairly brief, a couple of years. But this is Lifetime Achievement Award. And I think back over your career, how many times you're up at four o'clock in the morning and uh, working all day and into the night and reaching out, helping people, doing the extra analysis, doing the extra studies, the extra initiatives. Those characterized you throughout a, uh, a very long and successful career. And I think it's going to be a hallmark of your work there with uh, Auburn. I thank you for your leadership. Uh, you are a great American. I am always amazed at your commitment and your faith and your energy. So congratulations, my friend. It's been a pleasure to serve with you and I look forward to continuing friendship. Ron Burgess, a brilliant Lieutenant General and a great Auburn man.